Right, let's talk about spare guns for the UK. Uh, materials that most guns are made out of are alley, carbon or wood. But for today, most people use the aluminium ones. So we'll go through aluminium. Well, this has an open muzzle. And this gun has a closed muzzle. On this one, you can see the gun has a small tunnel on the front of it. This bit passes through but and, and it's guided down but it's not held down so the spear can move around a lot inside the gun whereas this gun's an open muzzle and you use an overshaft where the line comes over and holds the spear down it's an overshaft wrapping technique that keep, keeps the spear tight down to the rail this allows you to do shots on the side upside down if you need to the spear is going to stay stuck, stuck to the gun uh, then you've got your bungee a bungee which goes on the front of your gun which is here and it'll keep your line taut give you enough stretch so you can put it put your line onto your gun also it, it stops uh, any breakaways after you've fired your gun so it won't snap your spear out or you can it can help with playing in fish the fish will bounce back and forth off it next the rail the reason why they're so accurate compared to a non-rail gun is because the spear tends to arc or bend on a non-rail it's held from the trigger mechanism back here and balances on the muzzle which is over here and overhangs which is the overhang here from there on rail guns because the entire spear is pinned to the rail the spear stays straight and doesn't arc bend over the top making it more accurate so we've got here and these will just slide on and it, this one's got a little screw screw it up and then it's on reels they're good for deeper dives you can let the line off and return to the surface then either play the fish to you or dive back down to get it uh, also the reel it, it won't allow you to shoot 50 meters it's literally there just so you can let off the line after you've shot a fish right so bands uh, one to two bands are most common in the uk a single band of around 80 mil which is about this or two bands about 14 mil which is like that uh, let's see see the bit difference there uh, if the band's too long it will be underpowered which will either just injure or bounce off the fish uh, too short and you become overpowered bending the spear and throwing it off course a smooth shot is a better shot then you've got your wishbones, you've got your metal, and you've got your Dyneema ones. This is your Dyneema setup for, for your wishbone. Uh, you a bit quicker to wear, but it's a quick, quick change, so it won't matter so much. Then you've got your metal. This is your cheaper metal wishbone and your articulated, more expensive wishbone. The thing with the wi metal wishbones, they will last longer, but you've got a tendency if you miss load, then you could end up getting it caught on your finger, which I've done, and have it pull your finger down the end of the gun. All right, let's talk about spares. Every spare has a maximum possible speed before it becomes inaccurate. That's it, wobbles everywhere. The stronger the spear, the faster you can go. Strength in spears comes from its tens tensile strength. So the higher the tensile strength, the faster it can be fired. Spears are made from different materials. Some stainless steel and others are Springer steel. Springer steel tends to have a higher tensile strength than stainless. So the thicker the spear, the higher the tensile strength. 
there are some differences between manufacturers and how they're made. So, so pretty much a thicker spear can handle more powerful rubbers, which in turn fire the spear quicker. So more tensile strength, better for the spear. The sizing from the barrel, the sizing comes from the barrel. So a 75 centimetre gun like this can actually be 1.2 metres long by the time you factor in the handle, the muzzle and everything that goes onto it. You find your smaller guns are better for night diving, hole hunting and bad fizz, whereas your longer guns are probably better for your clear water and your open water diving. Uh, you've got your standard gun which is this. Taking a second gun as a backup can be quite good if you need a second shot on a gun on a fish or your gun breaks. Uh, then you've got your cost of guns. Guns come down to the materials and, a, and the tri trigger mechanisms that you have in it. So that can push up the price. Plus, obviously you get branding as well. And last but not least, let's do a little demonstration on how we can load guns up. So I like to grab the band, put it onto the chest, and then pull. That's one way I like to do it. And the other is from the hip. Same thing. Um, that's two of my loading techniques that I do when I'm in the water. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.